Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I am about to start a new series here where we basically go through questions in the lead code and provide a video explanation of the solutions. So if you wanted to sharpen your coding skills, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button for more tech and coding videos. Let's dive in. So here we have uh, the first question of lead code to some in JavaScript and uh, given an array of integers, nums and uh, integer target, um, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you might not use the same element twice. The input is nums of array 2, 7, 11, and the 15 and the target equal to 9 the expected output is index 0 and index 1 array of index 0 and index 1 so that's the first example the second example is uh, yeah 3 2 4 and the target is 6 and the third example is 3 and the 3 okay and the target is also 6 We'll solve a problem in VS Code and then we'll run on the terminal um, just using Node.js. Um, if you don't have Node.js, uh, install, please install. And then if you have, you can go to terminal, new terminal, and then you have there. So we'll say node and the file number, which is uh, to sum. If we solve here, then uh, we will copy our code and uh, go to uh, lead code so that we can check if it's accepted or not. So let's get started. Let me first copy the given. Okay, that is the given. Let's copy. I go to VS Code and. Uh, Best it here. I mean, uh, comment what? Okay. We will solve this using broad force method, and then we will solve it in other terms like hash map. So let's let's solve this using broad force or sum so it read through each element in the array and uh, check if there is another uh, element that sums up to the target so let's use for loop or oh I don't I don't like to use for let me use let We'll have another for loop. So this is for loop. A equals to zero. Um, A is less than, or I mean, uh, it's less than nums dot length okay. a plus plus it's easy so this if statement if if nums i plus And J is to index plus target and simply return and I and the J. That's easy. Okay. If it doesn't run empty array. 
That's so easy. It's, let's save and run. What do we have? Here? Do we have our oh, given? Yes. So let's run. Sorry. Let's run. And we have index 0 and a 1. And what was the output? The output was index 0 and a 1. So it's working. It's okay. Let's copy our code and go to bit code. Test. And our code. Oh, wrong. Okay, we have uh, a problem here. It's okay on the first case, but the two other examples, um, it's wrong because uh, of the index. So let's go back to, okay, let's go here. J equals to zero. Let's make it J equals to I plus one. Again, yeah, and it's working. Three case one, two, three are all green. Submit our code. And there we go. Everything is green. Okay, so now we have solved the, the two sum problem using a uh, broad force method in JavaScript. Let's go to our VS Code and uh, solve the same problem, to some problem using HashMap method in JavaScript. Okay, commented out the our code. Yeah, so now let's write HashMap method. Okay, so say for some. And sequence um go to empty curly braces. So now we need uh, a for loop. This is a for loop and complement complement equals to a bit. Minus times of sorry. Okay. That we need a statement. Say if okay. So we'll say return. Array of M up moment index. Okay, so uh, we'll say M up. I equal to index of it doesn't return entry. Okay, that's all. It's F and C. This method is better than the brute force method. Uh, just to read each element in the array. And I store the difference between the target and the current element in the hash map. Check if the difference or this this if statement. So uh, check if the difference exists in the hash map. If it does, return the indices of the current element and the difference itself. 
Oh, let's run our code. Go to terminal, new terminal, node, so sum, up, enter. There we go. That's our index zero and a one. So let's um, copy our code. Now go to lead code. Okay. So um, move this code and uh, remove that code and paste it here. Yes. Run. Accepted. Everything. That's nine, 91 milliseconds. That's less than one second. Yeah. So let's submit. Submit. And there we go. Everything's there. In the next video, we will solve the longest substring without repeating characters in JavaScript. Uh, hit the subscribe button for more tech and coding videos just like this.